So today I'm talking about a P0507 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0507 code? Well, it's an idle control system RPM higher than expected. And what does this mean? Well, most vehicles have what's called a throttle body. This sits up on top of the engine, on top of the intake manifold. And when you press the gas pedal right inside of here, there's a butterfly. This is going to open up more and let more air go into the engine. More gas is also going to go in, but this is where all the air is going into the engine. And then when you let off the gas pedal, this butterfly inside of here is going to close and the onboard computer is going to take over and try to control the idle to keep the engine running correctly. And for some reason, when the engine's idling like this, and you're not pressing the gas pedal, the engine RPMs are going way up. They're going higher than they should be. And so basically it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And one thing to note about these throttle bodies is that there could be different systems on how the idle is being controlled by the computer. Many vehicles have this idle air control valve, which is basically just a hole right before the butterfly. And this idle air control valve right here controls how much air is going through this hole. And so the computer can control how much air is going into the engine when that butterfly is closed. And so this is a very common symptom. It's on many vehicles. It's called the air idle control valve. It's basically just a way the computer is controlling how much air is going into the engine when the gas pedal is not being pressed. And there's also a system called the electronic throttle actuator, which basically just means that the computer can control this butterfly inside of here. So instead of having a little port that just completely bypasses the butterfly, the computer can control the butterfly and open it up slightly. So just be aware there could be some different idle control systems, but those are the two main ones. And so what are some possible causes of a P0507 code? Well, the first thing is going to be a dirty throttle body. This is very common. If that throttle body has a lot of buildup and very dirty, then it can cause issues. It can also be a dirty or clogged up idle air control valve, or it could also have failed. There could be a vacuum leak somewhere up around the intake manifold, or one of the hoses might be leaking or something like that. If too much air is going into the engine, then it can throw the idle control off. It could also be a bad PCV valve. These can commonly go bad and cause issues. Quite often they can also cause a vacuum leak. And so what would be some fixes? Well, the first thing, a very common thing, is that that throttle body just needs to be cleaned up, especially if you look inside there and it looks really super dirty like this. If it's got a lot of buildup like this, then that can throw things off and it can cause issues. If it does look dirty, it can be cleaned up with what's called throttle body air intake cleaner which you could buy at any automotive store and you could spray inside of there and sometimes you use like a little toothbrush or something like that and you can clean it up and make it look good again. Quite often that'll solve a lot of issues. When you're cleaning up the throttle body, if you have an idle air control valve, you can also take it apart and clean it up. These can get clogged up where that air passage is going up. It can get clogged up or it could get dirty or things like this. So that can also cause issues. That idle air control valve might also have failed. So there's some different tests you could do on it to check to see if it failed. Because if it has failed, then it's going to cause issues. If you clean up this throttle body real good, and you either test it or replace that idle or control valve and you're still having issues, then there might be an intake air leak somewhere. And there's some different ways to go about checking for an intake air leak. Some mechanics will start up the engine and then they'll have like a flammable spray and they'll look around the engine and wherever they think that there's a leak at, they'll spray the spray. And if the idle changes, then they know they found the leak. So that's one method. Another method is use a smoke machine. And basically you feed smoke into the air intake and wherever the smoke comes out, you know that's where the leak's at and you can go and fix it. So this is another method. But however you want to do it, the next thing to do is to go around and try to see if there's any kind of intake air leak going on with the engine. And this would be something like a loose hose, a bad gasket, something along those lines. But that would be the next thing to go and check for. You can also test or replace this PCV valve. Since this can be a common failure point, and can cause issues when they go bad. They're low cost components, but you can't test it if you want to. But the next thing to do is go check that PCV valve and be sure that it's good. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a P0507 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.